Okay, this is a this is a good part of the manual to um, get to if you haven't ever read the manuals. Um, periodic checks and maintenance wheel nuts. Before operating the desert racer, take a moment to make sure the wheel nuts are tight. As they may have loosened during shipping. Check the tightness of the wheel nuts before each run. Uh, the truck's high speed and torque can loosen nuts over time if left unchecked. So it's worth um, it's worth doing things like that. Just get into a habit of doing it. So yeah, I do um, do suggest reading the manual and also downloading the full full version of the manual um, from Traxxas Support website as well. Um, it, it should give you a lot more information in that, so you can read through and um, get to know your car. Okay, guys, we're going to now. Um, I'm going to plug the batteries in and just connect up the Bluetooth module. Make sure everything's right before we go out with it. Um, so we'll do that first. That's the first time I've done this. I haven't actually I've watched so many of the videos, though. It should be pretty obvious. running in soft sand um, they're asking you to cut a couple of small holes into the tyre which will allow the sand to escape because um, obviously if the sand gets in it makes the wheels really heavy um, so you just need to need to do that if you're running on the beach um, or in the sand I'm not going to do that just yet because I'm going to take it down to a pretty much a, a sort of um, a road um, it's a works road so hopefully there won't be any traffic down there. Um, so yeah, we'll pop these batteries in. It looks like a nice tight fit. Battery one. Battery two. Set that's back on. Just a bit fiddly where it's pushing against the cables, but that's back in properly. Make sure that's right on. Um, so that's it. Let's pop it on the stand. Okay, so here um, we're going to turn on the radio. So uh, we're going into the garage, Traxxas Link wireless module, which will get this screen, which tells you to switch on the radio, hit the Bluetooth button, which is out blue, and then hit three. So they're now connected. When we switch the car on, we should have the vehicle battery light up. So we switch the radio on and press the easy set button here and the car will switch on so it looks like there's an update of the EC ESC um, so we're going to proceed with that Too sure how long this will take. Uh, touch head to proceed with the firmware update. Warning before you update electric model, make sure the drive wheels are off the ground and the model is secure. Okay, proceed. May may lift this off the stand because the wheels are it's such a the, the droop on this so long it's actually still touching the ground. So Let me just hold this up while that's doing it. Which hopefully won't take too long because it's quite heavy. The app and the Bluetooth module should should make running this car a lot nicer. Um, if you want to go into training mode it's going to be a lot easier to get into it. You can change all your adjustments from the app as well. So it's a lot simpler to, um, to adjust any settings if you want to. 
plus you'll get all your telemetry like your vehicle power, your battery power and your transmitter you've got all your telemetry, bluetooth back to your phone and if I'm correct I think, which we're going to test um, it should also give our revometer and temperatures and everything as well so we've got the whole, the whole package there I've added some cool um, the Mint 400 50th anniversary stickers onto the truck as well and they ran that a few weeks back so yeah I've got a few stickers made up for that, it looks cool little shout out to Justin Lofton, well done mate, I'm lucky this year on to the next It's getting close to the end of stage two, so just in case. Wrapping things up. Please power down the transmitter and turn. Please power down the transmitter and turn the vehicle off and back on. I'd rather turn that off first, just... Okay, so... Back to there. So we'll switch on the radio. And power on the car. So yeah, we have we got the battery, uh, we got the temperature. I'm not going to try the revs here, but uh, I'm going to take it across the field before it rains. Hopefully, I've got a little window of time to actually get this done. Um, so I'm going to power down and take this outside. So always turn the car off first, then your radio. Oh, it didn't switch off. That's odd. must have pissed it for too long. Ah, there you go, so that's off. App's out. So yep, yeah, I'm, um, I'm going to fire off down to the uh, to the track where we go uh, to run our engines in for our um, race buggies. That should be uh, a good place to run this, so I'm going to shoot on down there and um, see you again in a second. Well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go mad, I'm just going to take a steady, steady roll down to this road at the end here, this works road, and um, Give it a blast along there. So we go. It's not even quarter throttle, really. Um, better hit the stopwatch as well so we can keep track on how long these batteries last. Looks the part though. This is a pretty cool track to, uh, to run this. So just turn the TSM down, off. TSM's right down to zero. It's really muddy in the, in the grass area. Steering trim's off a touch. It's gonna go, let's go to about 50% on the TSM. There's a big lake there, so I want to be a bit careful.
might find there is a bit more traffic down this works road today. Tight turning circle, it's got some grip on this. <laughs> oh, we could have some fun with this. would have managed to find it. It is waterproof guys so it will it will be alright. I'm just trying to keep it dry when I take it back to the shop. But let's just switch that TSM off. If there's a puddle you'll always find it but I'm not into wrecking my car through puddles for the sake of it not like some just look at the way that car lifts up the front though that's just awesome took Touching full throttle there. And that's quarter throttle. <laughs> right, 
Let's hit the full throttle coming back here for a second. Let's hit the full throttle now. No, that's half. That's, that's full throttle, but I'm coming off it pretty quick. That's quarter throttle. Once you hit full throttle, it doesn't want to twist. Quarter throttle. Full throttle. <laughs> um, this is crazy. Oh my god, it's pulling wheelies. Holy. So it's stopped. Oh no. It's supposed to be. Unless the batteries are getting lower than the um the sun just didn't seem to have a response to the front just then. Feels, feels normal. So it's, it's got a bit of mud on it now. Um it's been christened. I guess it looks better that way actually. It's the way it should look, I suppose. Kind of quarter throttle pass, it's not. You've got to be careful. That wasn't even hit half throttle there. So, I mean, this is a beast. This is an absolute beast, guys. Just look at it, it just looks the part. Okay, let's just see. speed 47 I've had so from the app it's what it's telling me and I've still got 23.5 volts so yeah you've got your revs you've got your rpm your miles per hour your top speed settings there you probably can't see this the sun shining um, but it's given the app is giving us all our readouts I think I've had a bit more space and it wasn't so narrow. And the wind, I mean, the wind is probably catching it a bit now, it's got a bit of crosswind here. Try and put the power on after this little hump because it's just pulling up the wheelie off that. I'm gonna come over there and then power down. Oh, 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 oh no! It's, you need a wider space than this if you're gonna if you're gonna plant it. Well, unless you want to wreck your car, maybe. Let's get back down 
there's a bit of a lake there and I don't want to end up in that. batches are going to last but it doesn't feel like it's easy enough yet it's been a, it's been a little while And this again, it's still quarter throttle I'm running on this, it's not... Oh, I nearly lost it there. back onto the um, loose gravel because I think that's where it looks best that's what it's made for I somehow don't think I'm even going to get time to run these batteries down because I should have been at the shop at half past uh, at 10 o'clock it's half ten now I'm still going to pack this thing back and take it take it all back so This is it really, the first, uh, the first quick video, so I'll get that up for you. And then we'll be um, I'm planning on taking this a few places where we should be able to get some higher speed runs, bouncing across some, bouncing across some ground and put it to its paces. mindful of this big lake actually because it's got a, we've got a bit of reputation down this area for the plant I think into the, into the water Corin <laughs> huh. but this is where the loose gravel is brilliant because it doesn't roll so much it just got just slides out Them up and it looks like it's going to rain in a minute as well. You know, I prefer the TSM off to be fair. It makes you drive it. Uh, yeah, maybe 
We'll switch it on a bit. It does help on this loose. This loose loose surface, I tell you, it really does help. Yeah, that TSM does its job. Well, without that, that's going to not take that corner so easily. Uh, no, that was no effort. It's only on half, so let's try full. Yeah, it's amazing. That TSM, you can feel it. You're kind of fighting it a little bit when it's up so high. So go back to half. Guys, so so far I've had about 49 miles an hour out of this. Is um, what the tractor's app said. Um, still going. Battery's still going strong. Let's just check the stopwatch. 25 minutes so far. The battery's still still going strong. I'm gonna switch it off. I'm gonna switch it off there. I'll take this back, give it a clean up, um, take it back to the shop, put it on the shelf for some people to come and have a look at. Um, yeah, I think this should clean up fine. It only had a little roll and um, a little dip in the puddle, so not a major problem. A little bit wet down there, might give it a jet wash. Live jet watch later.